How much you can see of the structures that are in the workspace depends on whether you have zoomed in or out and also on where the structure is clipped. Clipping is used to limit the parts of the structures that are displayed in the workspace by defining clipping planes perpendicular to the z-axis or parallel to the screen and displaying only parts of the graphical image that are between these planes. Now whether you're using Maestro, Bioluminate or the Material Science Profiles, the common way for adjusting the clipping planes is to go to View, Move Clipping Planes and then to select the desired action. However, note that there are keyboard shortcuts which will allow for even quicker access. For example, holding the F key will move the clipping planes closer together. Holding the G key will move the clipping planes further apart. Holding the equal sign key will move the clipping planes towards you. And holding the minus sign key will move the clipping planes away from you. Now if you are using Bioluminate or Material Science profiles, you can use the scroll wheel on the mouse which defaults to adjusting the clipping planes. If you wish to view the clipping planes window in the workspace and you're using Maestro, go to Window Clipping Planes. If you are using Maestro Elements, go to Workspace Clipping Planes. And if you're using Bioluminate or Material Science, go to Edit, Settings, and then Show Clipping Planes. Once the clipping planes are visible, you can drag the horizontal lines that mark the planes where the graphical image is clipped. The lower lines mark the planes that is closest to the viewer, and the upper lines marks the plane furthest from the viewer. To move both planes at the same direction, hold down the control key and drag one of the planes or use the scroll wheel. To move both planes in opposite directions, hold down the shift key and drag one of the planes or use the scroll wheel. Note the green lines of the viewing volume indicator. This is either a green or trapezoidal box that represents the viewing volume. As you zoom in on the structure, the box will shrink. And if you have perspective enabled, the viewing volume box is trapezoidal like it is here, with the small side at the bottom. Clipping planes can be applied selectively as well as to all graphical objects. To choose what clipping is applied to, right click the clipping planes window and make your choice from the shortcut menu that is displayed. The default setting is for all objects, such as structures and surfaces, to be clipped together. The Surfaces settings provides four clipping planes to apply clipping to only the surface and not the structure. For Surfaces to Selected Atoms, this option will apply clipping to the surfaces using a cube centered on the selected atoms. For example, you might select just the ligand in a ligand receptor complex and the surface will be clipped to a cube that contains the ligand. For selected atoms, this option will apply clipping to the selected atoms. For example, you could select the receptor in a complex and leave the ligand unclipped. 